Good morning. This is my 2012 Chevy 3500 HD. It's a retired AT&T truck. Um, it's got the uh, six liter uh, motor, Chevy motor. It's got um, 120,000 miles on it. Uh, the biggie is it has a nap hide utility service utility bed that's just amazing and we'll get to it in a minute I'll just show you all the stuff that's included in it um, the tires are all e-rated uh, heavy-duty transforce tires uh, there's so many cool features on this uh, I'll explain the ladder racks and how they work uh, there's a go light that will turn on and I'll show you that thing is super cool goes 360 degrees uh, and is super bright turns night into day uh, it's got strobe lights this has a generator it's an Onan QC 7000 EFI generator uh, pretty much the best on the market with I believe it has 36.2 or 36.4 actual hours so it's it's barely even broken in um, this ladder rack if you'll see those little shock supports this thing is so cool it actually uh, and I'll, I'll operate it here for you in a minute but you actually pull this lever this whole apparatus drops down so that you can easy load your ladder onto the side then pull this and it loads the ladder right back up on top and locks it into place so it, it's a really cool feature we're going to open up the box here in a minute and go through that the truck itself is in fantastic shape um, the interior has been pretty well cared for uh, as I said it's got about hundred and twenty thousand miles on it um, these are the remotes for the go light which are super cool and that thing's expensive by the way uh, and it really helps um, you've got an inverter behind the seats you've got uh, um, uh, it's called a pro watt, but it offers all of the switches for all of your lights. You got your cargo light and your strobe light. All those lights work. It's got air conditioning, blows ice cold. Uh, as I said, the interior's pretty clean. It's got this huge storage box in the middle that serves as an armrest. Um, this is also a 4x4. Four four. And that is very, very rare in these trucks. They're are a bunch of these trucks well not a bunch really but uh there's there are a few of these trucks out there and every one of them i've seen i'm talking about trucks that are offered for sale very very few in fact i have yet to find one frankly that's four by four so this is a pretty rare truck the four by four on this makes it special and it allows you to kind of go anywhere when we loaded this truck we had a low rear tire uh it's actually flat so i just put it in four by four and it crawled right up on the trailer uh, and as I said, it's got 120,000 miles, runs beautifully. Uh, let's take a look at some of the stuff here to make this. I'm going to try to keep this video as short as I can. This is the Cummins Onan Commercial QC EFI, best on the market. I'm going to go ahead and start it up for you. We'll come around to the uh, switch. All these locks are, are locked and unlocked with the key to the truck so they're they're keyed to the ignition key of, of the truck to make um, getting in and out of it easy so, you know you don't lose a key and if you do you cut a key for the truck which is really cheap now there's some, some other cool features on this box one it's got a, a really heavy-duty tow package it's got your normal uh, trailer hookup which is your your seven pin normal and then it's got a heavy duty hookup for, for for big heavy trailers it also has if you'll notice here a quick connect uh i just sprayed some oil on it to kind of lube it up and make sure it's working that is a quick connect and they're at the front and the back they go to of course the air compressor so when we start the generator it allows you to turn on the air compressor that has two compressors and one huge tank this is the back of the truck and that's your storage you also have another inverter here and we'll come on around to here and this is your let me close these doors real quick this is 
the remote start for your generator as well as the control that's the controls for your go light these are the manual ones and you saw the two remotes in the cab and both of those you can carry them around in your pocket and operate this light from from wherever um, you can see we've got 240 connection and 120 connection and you simply push this button and you might have heard it come on but now your generator is running that generator provides power uh, really as long as you need it to you can let it run all day they run very cool uh, they're great machines I'm going to open up these boxes you've got some really cool ball bearing tool drawers that are here that are just awesome you got three of those this is your uh, controls and your gauge gauges for your that's your filter and you can see there's one and it's hard to see the other let me see if I can get that see you got two uh, compressors for your tank which is on that side uh, And what we'll do is, that's the breaker for it, we're going to come over here and we're going to turn on the power right here and we'll start your air compressor. As you can see, it's plugged in down here, so it comes on 110. So the generator has to be running to power the uh, air compressor. And once you do, Fires right up, and now you have all the air you need. You have a connect here, you have a connect at the back, which you saw, and you have a connect right up front here, as well as an outlet for electricity. So there's your air connection, and then here's your outlet for, for more electrical. So uh, this truck is, is really rigged out. I'm going to turn on the go light now and show you how that operates. That's also really cool. Close the door and it vents through there. This is also a flex fuel vehicle if you'll notice. So you can run E85. Uh, the tires are in fantastic shape. They're actually almost new. They still got the little knobbies on them. They're in great shape. Um, I'm going to go ahead and grab the remote to the go light. And very easy. You turn it on. Off. On. But here's the cool part. It rotates 360 with these controls. Up down any way you want it to and it even has let's see if I can show it to you it has a rabbit control which when you push that down it actually makes it go faster so a uh, really cool feature these lights if you look them up they are not cheap uh, but they are so so great to use when you're on the job this truck has everything you need for almost any any application electrical plumbing uh you know you you name it you and you really got you've already got everything here to uh to make this thing rock and roll i'm gonna go ahead and shut off the i'm gonna go ahead and shut off the air compressor which it's con it controls itself so it once it gets to a certain air pressure it shuts itself off anyway uh as as most of them do and i'm gonna come around here Lift that off, and now lastly, we're going to come around here and we're going to shut the generator off by simply pushing and holding this till the generator stops. And just like that, we're done. We're going to go ahead and turn off our go light, and there we go. We're going to go ahead and close this, and we're good to go. Truck runs beautifully. 
everything in it operates great I forgot to show you the strobe lights and you've got a cargo light for the box as well but it's got strobe lights on it all around and those are a pretty cool little safety deal you know if you're working on the job you want to keep your strobe lights on if you're anywhere close to the road some requirements ask you to do it anyway if you're on the job but uh, that's pretty much it folks it's a it's a fantastic truck um, I'm asking 23.5 now remember this is a 4x4 the only one like it I found that's in in this shape and has all the same features as this is in Florida and um, he wants 29 seven and it's a two-wheel drive and that's the only other one I could find that's comparable but it's in Florida and he wants six thousand dollars more this does have a clean clear Texas title it's as I said it's an AT&T truck it's a one owner so you'll get a one owner title so it's obviously bank financeable if you want to pay cash uh, that's great too so uh, I'll post all the rest of the information in my uh, uh, in my ad with some additional photos. So uh, thanks for watching and uh, hope to see you soon.